good 9197 Wolf Pack. This is your boy, Tyler 9197, Witcher 9197, Black Wolf 9197, or 9197. Back with another video for you guys. No, this time, this is going to be y'all a game review for y'all of Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. And guys, I am very, 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 very happy to finally do this review for you guys. Because y'all know, like, I made 12 parts out of that whole walkthrough of me playing Hyrule. Like, it was a lot. It was a journey. And it was definitely, definitely time to finally get it get a chance to do this review for y'all i mean like of course i like i say a lot of games y'all when i do my reviews is that like i don't be ch look, i take my time as much as i can in these games and I, a lot of times when i make content out of it i don't feel like i'm wasting so 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 much time in the game as far as like you know make so many parts if i know the main focus when i do my walkthroughs is more of like the story so, you know, like I said, so there's still lots of work I got to be done with the game, even though I'm done with the main story of it. But, of course, like the side stuff, I, I got to do that on my own time. And, um, but yeah, but besides that, y'all, I took my time with this game. I'm very happy. I can't wait to do this review for y'all. Oh, and a quick side note, too, before um, I start this review. Um, guys, I um, by the time you are watching this video, I got Monster Hunter Rise. I haven't started it yet, but once I do... That's going to be one of the main content on my channel for a while. So, for me saying that, y'all, like, it's, you're going to see a lot of Monster Hunter Rise content. Because uh, I definitely want to definitely put some time in this game. Because, cause obviously, because I just, you know, recently bought it. That's one thing. And two, I really want to put a lot of time in this game. So, so, I don't feel like I'm going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So, you know... I'm going to play a whole lot of Monster Hunter Rise. That's what you're going to see as far as my content. But I would say to y'all, for me saying that, I would not put in the category of like kind of like in my walkthrough series just because like this game is long. If I remember correctly, I think some people say it's up to like 25 to 30 hours long. I want to say. So I'm not going to put it in the same category as like my walkthroughs. But. I would say that like I'm gonna treat it kind of like my Smash and Splatoon type um, like uh, videos that you know it's like it just kind of like go on and on and on and on and on. Which I know eventually I'm going to see about beating the story, but I mean for the time being though, it's just gonna be mainly just kind of like like I said, Smash and Splatoon type video. So it just I go on and on and on until I guess I get to a certain point, then go on to the next type thing but for me saying that also there is another game that is going to be officially my walkthrough which is which the game is not as long i think it's like probably like a four hour game and it was called air memories of memories of something but that's going to be like my two main content i'm going back and forth you guys see so you can see a monster hunter rise video and the air which is going to be more of my walkthrough series which is kind of like similar to like a rhyme but okay but enough of that because i feel like i'm kind of rambling i didn't try to make this video way too long especially for a review but besides all that y'all if you guys don't know how to do my reviews i do uh i talk a little bit of plot give my uh pros and cons which this one i did like three pros three cons well i'll see i know it's gonna be three pros but the cons I still gotta think about that. At least like three cons, you know. It might be only two instead of three, but whatever. That and then you know I give my overall rating of the uh, overall rating, and then I go straight to the spoilers. But of course, you know, in all my reviews, it's first have no spoilers, so do not worry. I will let y'all know when I go to the spoilers, which shouldn't be too long. Honestly, I'm not gonna make it that long, but yeah. Besides all that, let me go ahead and really start this review. All right, y'all. So the plot of Hyrule Wars: Age of Calamity. So basically, y'all, slight spoilers. If you haven't played Breath of the Wild, which I feel like you should before playing this game, but luckily I would say about this game, what I like about it, you don't necessarily have to play Breath of the Wild to play this game because the story of Breath of the Wild and this one is still so similar that you literally could play this game and have a bigger understanding of what's going on and then even play Breath of the Wild, it'll still make much sense. But still, I feel like you should play Breath of the Wild first and then play this, but that's just me though. But regardless of that, y'all, 
it's like I said, slight spoilers. You know, in Breath of the Wild, what happened? They lost. They got whooped by Clamity Ganon. Clamity Ganon, Clamity Ganon and his goons just smack all the heroes, all the champions, like beat down Link. And then Zelda did her uh, her light power and put Link into a slumber. And then, you know, that's when, when he goes out into Hyrule and stop claiming again of, you know, Breath of the Wild. But besides that, for this one, it's like more, I would probably say, a alternative timeline. So what it is, is like during the Calamity, uh, this little guardian that's basically like the big guardians, but, you know, small guardian is with Zelda them, seeing what's going on, seeing that they're struggling, this, that, and third. So, what the little guardian did was literally went up to the castle, went back to Princess Zelda's room, and found a way to make a portal to go into the portal and basically be in a like another timeline or best or basically say like go back to the future, pretty much, like go back before the calamity happens to warn the current champions, you know, like Link. Like you know, Link Zelda, like you know the regular regular crew, but before the calamity, and warn them like, hey, a calamity's coming. Y'all gotta be prepared and fight the calamity. And that's basically the plot of it. Really, that I mean, at least to simplify it. And then you know, obviously, y'all, you can already tell what go what's going for there. Stop the calamity. I mean, you guys already could tell what that uh, what that story is trying to go for to stop the calamity. Basically, that's what you get. And uh, like I said, that's pretty much the plot of it. Honestly, like. Uh, if I say more, I feel like I get more into spoilers, which I'm not doing that yet. So, yeah. But anyway, enough of that. Now let me go to my three pros and my three cons. I would say I think I'm going to do three cons. Well, okay, whatever. Okay, first pro, story. Love the story, y'all. The story in this game is really good. And what I like about this, this story a little bit more than Breath of the Wild is that you get to learn more about the champions and of course you know more about Link and Zelda during the time with the champions because you know Breath of the Wild if you guys played it you don't really get to know the champions as much besides small memory fragments that you gotta find within the world of Breath of the Wild but in this one you really get a full fleshed out story and get to know each and each and every character of each champion of Daruk, Mik, uh, Mifa, Rivali, and Urbosa. You, you get to know them more and how they interact with like Zelda and Link and Link is Zelda. And they, of course, Impa too. We got to see a younger Impa because, you know, in the, in the other game, she's old as dirt. But this one, she's young Impa. A young Impa. Okay, but enough of that. Um, yeah, but that's a lot of first world. Death of the story. Worth it. All right, guys. So for my second pro, I could go ahead and give for Hyrule Warriors: Age of Calamity is guys just the fighting. Like the fighting is on point, y'all. The fighting is literally on point. Like, cause I played the first Hyrule Warriors before this one, and guys, Hyrule Warriors: Age of Calamity is way better than the first Hy Hyrule Warriors. Even though that one's more kind of like a, I say kind of like a spinoff of the Hyrule universe, but this one I like the fight. I don't know. I just feel like the fighting was a lot more smoother. It just feels right. We're really playing this game more so than I played the first Hyrule Warriors. But not to say the first High Rewards was bad or nothing, but playing this one just, I don't know, it just feels solid. It just feels smooth. It feels just right. Like, they got every component right, especially fighting-wise, when you play different characters and using their abilities and this and that to fight enemies. It's just, oh, it's just so good. So good. All right, guys, so my third pro I could go ahead and give for High Rewards Age of Calamity, guys is the characters and the cutscenes. Even though I said kind of cares a little bit in the kind of the first one, a little bit for story-wise, but no guys, but the characters and the cutscenes, you will be more invested. Like guys, I tell you, I wish Breath of the Wild had like a lot of the cutscenes that they had in Hyrule Warriors because guys, it's just like I feel like that's what Breath of the Wild was lacking. Even though I enjoy the game heavy, but I feel like I kinda like Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity more a little bit as far as story-wise because you get the no like you get the you be engaged of what's going on i love it y'all when you get to meet the champions you get to know them more like you understand them you know like their personalities you, you see it more and i love it and then you know of course getting to know the characters it's like you get to love each and every character 
except for Rivali. At least for me, cause uh, I'm not a Rivali fan. He's just annoying. Kind of hate him a little bit. Not really, but I really don't like Rivali. He's just too cocky. He think he's better than everybody. Like Rivali, if you were that good, the wider world you can't pick up the Master Sword to fight Clam the Ganon. I'm just saying. I'm just being honest, y'all. Like he, he he's so cocky. He act like he just better than everybody. But clearly, he's not. In my opinion. I don't know if y'all Rivali fans. I'm sorry, but I don't really like Rivali that much. He's kind of trash to me. Everybody else solid. They fight. They solid. Rivali. Yeah, I right. still trash. But <laughs> all right, enough of that. But I really don't hate Rivali. But at the same time. I'm not really lying to y'all either. I don't really like him that much either. Either he just kind of, <sighs> but enough of that. All right, y'all. Now for the cons for High Reward Asian Legends. So my first con I can go ahead and give it y'all is that this game is grindy, and like for me saying that it's like I want I don't want to make it sound like it's like a complete complete grindy game but it is grindy especially when you try to level up your characters y'all especially with the skills and this and that and try to upgrade like your, your abilities and this and that to make them stronger it is a bit of a grind y'all i'm not gonna lie it really is a grind it's just you just feel like ugh, like because sometimes it's like isn't my thing is it's not a chore especially when you do the side missions and stuff like that it's really fun i like doing the side missions and stuff like that that's not really the issue but still if you look like a certain character and you want them to get stronger and have better abilities it's that you have to grind them out and there is a quite a bit of characters to play as in this game so it just kind of like ugh, it's just kind of like a little grindy mess Somewhat, but I mean not crazy, but it's, it's enough that you got sometimes when you do side mission It's gonna feel like a chore because I could definitely tell you when you play like from the main story And I know a little bit different from me too because I have played the difficulty on hard So I know me playing on um, the side missions is necessary Because for me to get stronger, but you're gonna have to grind to get stronger for the missions because the more because the more more you uh, grind to get stronger these missions get harder and then I still felt like even if for me grinding because you know mainly I play as Link like who, who doesn't play Link you know what I'm saying I mainly play Link the most and like I can tell you even though I grind I grind up Link a lot for his like you know his like his abilities his level how strong he can get and even while I was grinding him up I still feel like sometimes y'all like I had to grind even more just to get him stronger because really because like for example Lionel's y'all I hate Lionel's in the game Lionel's the worst enemy in this whole game y'all because I feel like no matter how much I grind up Link to fight Lionel's I feel like he don't like Lionel's still be a little bit tough to fight it's not like they're really that easy to beat so it's like what the heck? You know what I'm saying? You feel like I gotta grind some more just to get stronger. But every time I do that, I feel like it's never enough. So it's like a never end the cycle. You gotta grind, 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 grind. Like, yeah. My second con I can go ahead and give for High Rewards Age of Colonial, y'all, is that not enough side stories in here. And what I mean, guys, I kind of want like more like cutscenes of more of um like the champions like for example like there were some moments in the game like there's a uh you know cutscene with like i would say like daruk and mifa talking or probably Urbosa talking to rivali this and that i don't know like small stuff like that i wish it was kind of a little more sad stories within high rewards of asia calamity but don't get me wrong there's a lot of cutscenes in this game that it's like you get a lot, especially inter seeing like interaction with the characters, this and that. Like I love it, but I just wish to, like just a little bit more of it, like especially more of the champion side, because like like I said before, Breath of Wild lack. Well, I feel like they lack was knowledge of more and more of the champions. You can read the dialogue or what they how they said how the champions was, but they were living this, how they were living this, that, and third, but. Not enough that I feel like I want like high rewards. I kind of look at it like let me explore more with these characters. Like let me get to know them a little more. Like side stories or know like what things that they did, how they ran stuff. This is that and the third. Like that's what I kind of wanted, but it's like high rewards didn't have it. Which I mean, like I feel like they did a good job of still cutscenes of what they did as far as like main story of the game. But stuff like that, I feel that's what's lacking. But 
you know, that, but that's just me personally. I mean, I mean, it's not like I said, it's not like the worst thing in the world, but I just wish like small stuff like that, it was a little bit more in it. Well, uh, actually, there's no third con, y'all, because I was thinking about, I was thinking about the third con for the game, but no, I feel like the first and second con, that's really it. Like, honestly, cause everything else was straight from the game. But now, I did, okay, now I already talked about a little bit of plot, my pros and cons. Now, I'm going to go ahead and give my overall review, uh, rating for this game. Alright, guys, so if I had to rate Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity at a 1 out of 10, y'all, this game deserves a straight up 10 out of 10. Guys, I feel like this game is highly recommended. I feel like anybody who didn't play Breath of the Wild, have played Breath of the Wild, should still play this game because it's very much worth it. But of course, I know if you guys don't care for like Dynasty War or Samurai Warriors type fighting games that you gotta fight 100, 100 enemies, I can understand that you can feel like, uh, that kinda seems like a little bit of chore or that seems a little bit grindy in that sense, which I understand. But besides that, y'all, I feel like this game worth the 10 out of 10. I enjoy this game heavy, y'all. I really enjoy my adventure with this game, especially making content for this game for the story. I enjoy every bit of it. And like, right now, for me, because I beat the main story, I still got more stuff to do, but I ain't gonna lie. Like, right now, I'm gonna take a little bit of break from it, but when I go back into it later on, I'm definitely gonna play more and then of course there is DLCs coming more for that game so I might end up getting DLCs and probably more content on High Rewards Age of Calamity will come back for me to do content for you guys on that game but I don't know yet but besides that like guys it's worth it it's worth your money definitely get High Rewards Age of Calamity y'all if you haven't already played it but now I'm about to go ahead and go to the spoilers y'all which you can see right here the siren to let you guys know so you need to go ahead and leave if you don't want to hear no spoilers. But yeah, that's it. So I'm going to give you guys a little bit of time right now. Alright guys, now time for the spoilers. The spoilers, y'all. Let's talk about the spoilers. Man, y'all, like, obviously, it ain't gonna be too much. I mean, it's spoilers, but it's not really spoilers, I guess, because you guys know the outcome. We won the fight. We beat the Calamity Ganon with the united forces of everyone in Hyrule to go against them. Even the Yiga clan, we went against Calamity Ganon, and we won, y'all. We won the whole fight, and I love every bit of it. Man, that epicness, it was there, y'all. Like, it was there. Like, I, I loved it. I just loved it. Like, I mean, of course, like, not to discredit Breath of the Wild, especially fighting Ganon, but, like, still, it's like, I feel like this moment was a lot better as far, because you got everybody together in the fight Ganon, and we won. And then, finding out about the uh, Guardian, which, which revealed the name of Terrico that a Zelda made and I feel like her father just kind of took took him took him away and stuff say he was distraction this and that and third and how pretty much that Terrico was just really faithful y'all and I loved it I loved how faithful he really was to Zelda and stood and tried to make sure she was safe and this that, and the third like that was a real robot right there the robot got the robot got heart it really did but also I would say for that like I like I like that extra content. How like I gotta find his um, repair parts, which I, like I said, I still gotta get back and play it more because of that reason. But for right now, I'm like it's not really necessary right now. But still though, y'all like stuff like that. It just it's just really good. I love that about the like overall just the story, y'all. Like I just love it. And then I love the scene. Like uh, one of my highlights from it was definitely me for a side on y'all I love their scene so much especially when side was little because I love that scene that Mifa has the big sister, she's like, side on! It's like, so what you doing? You could have got hurt and stuff. And they hug, hug her brother and say, I'm proud of you. He's just smiling, y'all. Oh, oh my goodness. This game had my heart at some points, y'all. <laughs> this game had my heart sometimes. And then the part where, um, 
when King Rome looked like he was about to die, and when Link had grabbed Zelda's hand to run, to run away, and Zelda like, oh, oh, like you know, like she can't believe what's going on. Like y'all, I felt that for her. It's like, oh man, she felt like her. She it felt like you know her father's about to die, and she like, oh my god, like she don't know what to do. Like guys, it just, oh my goodness, <laughs> y'all, this game had me so many times. Like I said, now me for the side on, like that, you know that that was hard, warm felt, and then with King Ron, like he about to die, that got me. And then when he finally show one day i would say too another day that kind of got what got on my nerves too was king Rowan, how he was feeling so hard on zelda look like he was showing no compassion for his daughter like she trying her best and he's like you're not doing enough I, guys i got mad at king Rowan. i was like man i hate this dude right here he acting like he just said oh like you like you ain't focus on your duty you need to do your duty like guys i ha I hated that so much because i was like man show some love to your daughter hug this girl what you doing man what are you doing and it just annoyed me so much, y'all. It annoyed me so much. But then, not only that, not only that, when it came later on, when he actually said from the, from the, uh, one of the trinkets, uh, were the robot pieces that, uh, Zelda had, saved his, saved his behind. Saved his behind. And he admitted, he's like, all the stuff you've been working on, I'm kind of glad you did it. And then he said, and how he was showing his apology to his elder for the stuff he did back then. But he really showed love for his daughter. Guys, I love that scene because he finally acknowledged her. But I know one thing I give respect for King Rones that I know he would just only be tough because he want his daughter to be safe and he want her to be ready. Cause even cause he you know honestly he does love his daughter and when I see like he actually shows it more. But he just at that moment he was just kind of. He had just had a cold heart because he loves Dar so much, so he became had a, you know he became cold hearted at points to make her focus on her, her responsibility, her duty. But when he kind of opened up more, especially kind of in the ending, close up before fighting Clem again, I just love every bit of y'all. It just like man, this was a good freaking game, y'all. I love every bit of it. Love every bit of it, man. But I think that's it, y'all. I think honestly that is it for my review. Like I said, it's 10 out of 10. I love the game. And like like I said, more likely you came this far for spoilers. You already played the game. And you know, hopefully you loved it. Cause I believe y'all should love it. But overall, Black Wolves, what do you guys think? Do you love Hyrule Warriors? Do you hate it? Please write down below. But of course, if you want to talk about spoilers, please y'all let people know that it's spoilers without just writing the spoiler on there so you know people won't be like oh you spoiled me because i don't want people to get spoiled for this game even though obviously you know it's basically just the flip side breath of wild like we dash you won stuff for losing but still though like there's some scenes i feel like people need to play the game themselves and oh Actually, matter of fact, I forgot to mention one thing too. I just thought about it. The characters from Breath of the Wild came in High Warriors, which was amazing. Like older Zidon, Tiba, uh, Yonobo, uh, um, who else? And Riji, like uh, Riju, yeah, was Riji, no Riju, yeah Riju, like. It was amazing when they came in the game too. That was awesome. But yeah, besides that, y'all, you know, just uh, write down below what you guys thoughts about high rewards and like I say, if there's spoilers, let people know ahead of time. It's spoilers and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But all right, Black Wolves, this is the end of the video. So go ahead, hit the like, the bell, subscribe, and say, I say this all in my other videos. If you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and do so so you can join the 9197 Wolfpack. This is a fun kickback gaming channel which has the greatest community in the world, which is you guys, the Black Wolves. So go ahead and spread the word to your friends and family who likes gaming so they can go ahead and join the Wolfpack because everybody's welcome to the pack. And like I said, guys, stay tuned for content coming your way especially for most of the rise and then air um memories of something because i got i forgot what it was but uh, but stay tuned for that that's gonna be my main content for a while too as far as that and then of course you know if there's gaming news and stuff you know i'll talk about whatever wherever it interests me but besides that it's just gonna be most hunter and air as far as content wise for a while so yeah all right guys i love y'all peace god bless y'all tgds 9197 
out.